North Dakota lawmakers are reconvening for a session today to consider redistricting, federal COVID relief money allocation, and several social issue bills. Reporter Maddie Beer Temple has been following along all day and joins us live from the Capitol as we lead local tonight. Maddie? Hi, Brooke and Nicholas. House and Senate committees voted on about 25 different bills today. Only a few of them are moving forward. One of them would deal with critical race theory in schools and two others restrict vaccine mandates. Here's a look at some of that legislation. A few dozen people packed the committee room as lawmakers pitched their bills in a rapid fire hearing. This bill is designed to be plain and simple. It is designed to prohibit the teaching in any way, shape, or form in our school system in the state of North Dakota of critical race theory. The committee passed that bill three to two along party lines. Another one that passed says parents are the, quote, chief stakeholders of the education of their children. This resolution is a huge win for both sides of the aisle to clear the air about who is in control of their child's future. House and Senate majority leaders say they support those bills. This is a divisive thing that's creating controversy between the people of different ethnic backgrounds and that doesn't belong in our schools. Two bills limiting vaccine mandates also got the green light. So did one outlining a patient's right to try off-label drugs like the deworming drug ivermectin. Minot representative Jeff Hoverson is participating remotely because he says he has COVID and he's taking ivermectin. And every time I would take my ivermectin yeah, I would increase in my uh, composure, my health, and my even my O2 levels. In total, eight pieces of legislation from the House and one from the Senate will advance to another committee. Some may receive a vote tomorrow afternoon. Lawmakers are continuing to work on the bills allocating the $700 million in American Rescue Plan Act money and redistricting, but neither of those came to a vote today. The bills that did not advance today will still have a shot of being reintroduced here on the House floor, but they'll have a higher two-thirds vote threshold needed to pass instead of the simple majority. And lawmakers expect to be working pretty late nights up until Friday night, which is when they still expect this special session to wrap up. Brooke and Nicholas, back to you. Thank you, Maddie. Also during the special session, Bismarck Representative Mike Nafee, who spearheaded a popular bill during the regular session to allocate legacy fund dollars for in-state investing, put forward a new bill aimed at speeding up the process. House Bill 1425, which passed in the legislature with overwhelming support, allocates 20% of the legacy fund for in-state investing. The first 10% goes toward infrastructure, and the other 10%, which has been at the center of recent attention, is devoted to equity allocations. The first 3% of the equity tract, however, has already been spoken for. It's going toward venture capital investments. The remaining 7%, which is between seven to eight hundred million dollars, is meant for much bigger projects. Representative Nathy says the process for applying for the 7% has been slowed down because of mismanagement by the Legacy Fund Advisory Board. Legacy Advisory Board is up here. They set kind of the policy or the direction, and uh, State Investment Board is below it. And the problem with this right now is the legacy board, advisory board, has not given any directions to SIB what to do with that 7%. We passed this bill eight months ago. Eight months ago. You name one other law that we passed where nothing's happened. Eight months ago we passed this bill. Nothing's moved. Representative Nathie's amendment would establish the In-State Impact Investment Committee consisting of the governor, state treasurer, insurance commissioner, or other designees. The committee would supersede the Legacy Fund Advisory Board with the goal of speeding up the process. Every month that we do not invest our, in our in-state businesses, every month that money then goes to different companies around the country, different companies around the world. All the while, our North Dakota businesses are circling and there's nobody to talk to. The bill passed in the delayed bills committee by a vote of four to one.